all right royals welcome back to an amazing video this is it you guys this is the holiday takedown you guys requested it so here it is if you have watched my holiday home tour or seen any of my deck the hall series you will know that i styled up eight amazing trees for the christmas season a couple of sets of twins as well as some fabulous other designs and so today i decided to tackle all of them in one day i know it's a bit aggressive but i just wanted to get it knocked out and done i enjoyed my holiday decor for the season but it is time for it to go usually i'm a bit sad behind the process but i'm really ready for a new phase of life so we are going to get started as you can see i am pulling everything out setting everything up i've stored away some of the emerald green pieces and now i am attacking the trees I always tell you that I like to take a systematic approach to everything that I do from the setup to the takedown and everything in between. So here you see me separating all of the floral picks by color and by style. So that way I can store them properly and keep them connected so that once I am ready to restyle for the next season, I can simply pull out whatever color I desire and let my creativity run wild. The containers that I am using, you guys, are by the Sterile brand. They are the 105 quart, and they are very sturdy and significant in size and that it allows me to store large ornaments as well as large floral picks inside. Now guys, these two trees, part of the Emerald City design, were on rotating tree stands and I absolutely love this look. They are the king of Christmas trees, seven foot, and they are pre-lit. I just decided to add them to the rotatable stand and I had a fabulous look for the entire season. Another benefit to this rotating stand, not only does it add a sense of whimsy, but as you see here, 
as I am taking down the decor as opposed to working around the tree I simply just rotate it and allow the ornaments from the back to rotate to the front and I continue on to take down and store this is a win-win in my opinion You made this work, I made this worse We fell apart a thousand times, a thousand times You moved away, I'm here to stay I wish I could go back in time, back in time I'm so sorry that I hurt you so deep Swear I spent the last few years just trying to change I'm on my knees I'm begging you, please. Is there any chance you're thinking about me? If I change my face, won't you come back to me? Make no mistakes, babe. Won't you come back to me? Now guys, I'm curious, what is your format or system for holiday takedown? Again, I like to take a systematic approach and I like to get it all knocked out in one setting. You'll note that it is early in the day as I am starting, but by the time of the end of the video, you will see that it took us all day, literally all day, but we got it done. You will see my um, beautiful niece Ananda pop in throughout the video from time to time. She wanted to help and I am so grateful that she did because this was a huge undertaking. But again, we got it done. And here, my friends, is the aftermath of tree one and two's takedown. You must know that there is a method to the madness, but it is always a mess before you see a masterpiece. So just giving you the real behind the scene. On to tree number three. I like to pull all of my trees into one central location. And it just makes it easier for me as far as the takedown, as far as the storing and stocking up the containers as we get them filled. It also contains all the mess in one place. So we're not having to clean up the entire house and it's just confined to one set area. So you will see trees one through six being taken down in this format.
Okay, so at this point, it is later in the evening. And as you can see, I am having fun. I have my niece Ananda here helping me. And guys, it is truly a team effort. My daughter has joined, but she is not doing the takedown, guys. She is cooking dinner. Can you believe that? I am so thrilled. So she is in the kitchen whipping up some salmon and steamed vegetables and yellow rice while Ananda and I attack the rest of these trees. And here, you guys, is one of my favorite songs. I'm I had to show the girls that their auntie and mama still got it, honey. There's nothing like that old school rap to let them know what real music was all about. So we're sitting here and we're vibing. We're talking politics. We're talking music. We're talking relationships. We're talking all things girly and grown woman. So we're having a great time as I am doing the takedown. So that makes it all that much more worthwhile just to have that time and those moments with my girls. On to tree number four, you guys, we are knocking it out. And I must say that Ananda has been an amazing help to me. This is her first year Christmasing with me, and she has enjoyed every minute of it. Whereas the hubby and the daughter, they're over it, but they're stuck with me because this is what I do. I, I do Christmas and grand style, and so they are stuck like Chuck. For the rest of my life, I will do Christmas grand and over the top. I absolutely love the creative ability to style up different looks each season. So that's what I do. Moving on to tree number four, you guys, we are, correction, tree number five. We are moving right along, you guys. This was the Mo Better Blues tabletop tree in our man cave slash family room. It was a lot of fun. I absolutely loved it, and it'll probably be back next season. You'll never feel the way I feel 
You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me. Here's the deal. When you're not here, I'm not the same. I'm needing a new chapter, babe. Been stuck here in a bed for days. I've been staring at the telephone. Cause when you're gone, I miss your face. Late o'clock, body talk. There's no need to bring it. Nothing you say makes it better. Wreck and fall, tear apart. Issues left behind restart. Nothing you say makes it better. I wanna give you up. I know we've been through way too much, but I'm confident we'll make it through. I'm here for you, you're not by yourself. Lay the clock, body talk. There's no need to bring it up. Nothing you say makes it better. And now, moving on to the last and final tree of the evening. Tree number six, you guys. This was in our master bedroom. I absolutely loved the Hudson's guys in this charcoal, mint, teals, and pewters. I love this design, you guys. But it's got to come down like all the rest. And so at this point, guys, I am losing juice. But my niece is there saying, come on, auntie. We got this. We can do it. So thanks to her, we were able to complete the assignment for the evening and get all six trees totally disassembled and everything sorted and stored and I am thrilled about it. Alright guys, just like that, Christmas is gone. 
at least Christmas 2021 anyways, but I promise you 22 is going to be amazing. I have the nerve to even want to do even more trees for the upcoming season. Can you believe that? <laughs> Especially given the aftermath of all of the trees and everything, but I just love it, you guys. And so here is the end results. There all the trees are stored. My extra large ornaments are stored in boxes. Everything else I was able to get in containers. My Z Gallery reindeer are stored away. Everything is nice and neat and ready for storing so hopefully you enjoyed this video you guys if this is your first time visiting you see what you like and you like what you see i want to invite you to hit that subscribe button and join the royal family guys we are full of inspiration motivation and so much creativity and this is just phase one of my mission organization series guys i will be taking you along as i style up my decor and i would love for you to join me stay safe remain royal and have a blessed and beautiful day